I'll start the video and be like, action. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. And then if I fuck it up, I'll go. All I do is I stack them up thirty at a time. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> now I feel like I'm under pressure. <laughs> For brains, lucky here. Uh, I am going to be working on fullas today, and that starts with a fuller board. This little guy right here, you'll notice it has a protruding pot there that is a little bit difficult to work with. That's why we have these foam pads down. Basically, what the foam pads allow us to do is to set the board on its top when we have it in a case in the metal cases so that um, you're not working putting screws in while the uh, pot is getting pushed on. It's you know, basically a safety thing. So all the boards start out in these anti-static bags. So I've already stacked myself up a goodly amount here. Um, I do 32 at a time. Each one of these little pads has 16 places where I can make holes, um, or where I've made holes, excuse me, uh, to set the incomplete units on. And so I'm going to show you a little bit about what I do. Basically, my, my process starts with setting out all 32 of them as um, half-built units, <laughs> if you will. We start by sliding in, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I slide in the board with these and the USBs pointing at the back of the closed section, so they clip right in to there. And then at the front end, you're looking at the portholes there. So, or whatever their proper name is. <laughs> then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them all down, and I'm going to put screws in each one of them. Just one to start because that'll secure them so that when I go to do the rest of the screws, I can do it nice and fast. So I put one screw in at a time, uh, 32 times, which is, you know, rather drab, but that's what we're doing. So... Uh, what I can tell you about the Fullas while I'm doing this is that they are a lot of fun to build and very easy to build. Um, they take a total of six screws each, and each one also has three feet on the bottom if you haven't seen a Fulla before, that's what they look like. Um, each one comes in these little plastic bags which are fantastically irritating, uh, but you know, you gotta we got to work with what we're given here. So this is this process. And once I'm done with this, I'll start putting in the bottom screws two at a time. Basically, I just kind of go in rows. Uh, it makes it go a little faster than putting them in uh, all three at a time. Usually, I'm not talking while I do this. Usually, I'm very quiet and kind of just going as fast as I can to get these in here. Or singing if you're in here. That's true. <laughs> Who doesn't love to sing a good song, you know? Well, I mean, some people don't, but I do, so whatever. <laughs> so, sitting here next to Bernie Fish, my partner in crime. Just putting screws Refer to the Mag Magni video. I am. Yeah, oh yeah, refer to the Magni video. That's who I'm sitting next to. And, you know, the, the benefit of this here, what we're doing is that we get to tell people when they say, what did you do today? You say, I screwed shit all day. That's what we do. I am ordinarily, uh, I work at the Shitter four days a week, uh, which, as you know, is our showroom. And so, ordinarily, I'm dealing with customers. Uh, you know, you guys out there, some of you might even know me. Uh, I've been with the company for about six months now. And uh, I am dreadfully enjoying myself. Just the most enjoyment a person can have. Because when there's no customers in the shitter, uh, 
I get to do stuff like this. It's cool to get to tell people, you know, they come into the shitter and they're like, oh, these are neat, you know, and all the things they say. And, and uh, <clears throat> I get to tell them, I built those, some of them. You know, maybe the one you're buying. Who knows? So, getting close here, kids. We're, uh, we're rounding the bend. Almost there. So here's the last one. Okay, now for the really fun part. Now what I do is I am going to take a handful of screws and just put in all the bottom screws on these and then I'll turn them over after I do the feet. So, bear with me. This will be a long process. <laughs> uh, the reason I start with the first screw, again, uh, not only because I was trained that way, but because um, it holds the case onto the board um, so that as you're putting in the rest of the screws, it won't move around. Right, we're almost onto the feet, which is going to be another fantastically amazing part of this video. You're really going to enjoy that. If you don't like my voice by now, Congratulations. <laughs> uh, no, this is uh, all part and partial of the process. We, we spend a lot of time uh, building multiple units because so many people want them. And so it's a lot of fun to kind of get used to how to do that. All right. Now. Push some feet in. These are the feet in case you haven't seen them. Little guys. Um, I grease mine with WD-40 because it helps them slide in easier and WD-40 WD -40, does not conduct electricity. Um, so, like water though. Water on these and put them behind the board. Probably not a good idea. Okay. This is fun. Are we having a good time? You know, this, I imagine watching this video uh, to be like what it would be like if you were watching, you know, Martha Stewart cook an entire meal without any commercial breaks. Like, at one point, you just fall asleep. Goodness, I'm so close. <laughs> Last one. Bam. There it is. All right. Now that we've got heat on all of them and screws in their bottoms. We're going to flip them over. So they're all upright. This is where you actually kind of see them come together. So, for most of that, for all of that, um, I was standing. Now, Yes. <laughs> but they can. <laughs> that was great. One of our bosses, Amy, is telling me how it is. Okay, so for most of this, I've been standing. Um, I'm gonna sit. My face, my face, bye. Okay. Um, so now. The fun part. So, uh, I'm going to line these two little holes up. You can see those right there. Line those holes up with these uh, plugins in the back. And then, I'm going to hold it in my hand. Kind of pulling on it sideways a little bit so that it will rock onto its bottom portion. Um, so, once I have it like this, like that, I get it a little bit up and make sure the front ends aren't going to clip in the wrong place and then slam it down. And then every time I do that, I put three screws and a knob on it. That will be a completed pull up. So, one in the front, two in the top. And these screws are. Um, they're tap set, so the bottoms have their own uh, holes to go into that are pre-drilled, but the tops in this front one do not, so they have to kind of drill in uh, and create the threads for themselves. Um, you'll notice that occasionally as I'm doing this, 
every once in a while they will not click when they spin all the way. That's because they'll just keep spinning. Uh, they are tight, but, uh, but they do like to act up every now and again. So now the knob um, is the last part that I want to do. If you'll see, there's a little flat spot by the knob there, right there. And basically what that is is that uh, lineup mark so that the knob lines up with the pot. You can see where the pot is flat there. So <clears throat> you just kind of learn to get to know how to line up the flat spot, where the volume points to. If you'll notice the little notch and the volume knob points this way. If I know that, it's easier to line up the, the knobs where they go uh, every time. And then, over here, over here somewhere, <laughs> is my tray where I will fill it with completed fullest. So that's the part you're about to watch me do. I'm going to complete these 32 fullest, fill that tray, and send it on its way. So, watch. <laughs> watch me do. Watch me do. Here I go. Um, I find this a lot easier if I pick up the full uh, and then turn it because I have to pick it up anyway to turn it around to where my hand can um, uh, reach that front screw. Um, and then I'm going to twist it around anyway uh, to get to the top screws because otherwise they'd be far away from me. Again, we all kind of have our own little uh, ways of doing things around here. Um, you know, you are taught something and then as you learn how to do it really well, you start to change the way you were taught um, to make it more towards you know, your, your comfort level, your uh, speed level, whatever the case is. You'll notice as I'm putting these screws in, I'm very careful not to scratch this brush on the surface of the foil so that I don't have to buy it. Because <laughs> I'm not rich. Alright guys, so that is it. I'm going to show you over here. Finished product. Whoops. Not the trash can. So here's what we end up with a tray full of fullas. Full of fullas. And uh, that's it. We got a couple left over. So I hope you enjoyed this video. There's my face. Now that you know what I look like. Come see me at the shitter. Market Street. Corner of Market and Railroad. New Hall. I might go underneath anyways. This isn't my I'm just trying to get the footage. Anyways. There's that. Stick that on there.
Okay. There you go, that's how you box a four. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna write. If you can see right here, S F B. Stands for shit for brains. That's the golden fulla. You don't get anything, but at least you know that the fulla that was boxed on the video is the one that you have. If you get the one that says SFB like that. Alright? And that is how you box fulla.